to the hide the ghost ship. Brothers? They did not survive the journey. I will personally find and kill every last one of you until I find my answer. Where is the hideout of the mer- Come to your rescue. Your slaves? The overseers who follow your orders? Pathetic. What kind of man does not fight for himself? Why? I have killed many men on principle, but never have I wanted one to suffer as much as you. To understand what it is to gasp and beg for your life. Like the innocence you drowned. You mean those slaves? That ship? But they're not even human. Without the discipline and guidance of their masters, they turn to rebellion. Murder. <laughs> like you. I only wish that were true. <laughs> It is done. He suffered badly. I made sure of it. Have you come to say goodbye? For now. But not without giving you this. Oh. After all this time, he lost interest. You're not worried it will fall into Templar's hands? I fear worse things now. No Templar plot can equal your wrath. <laughs> you tried to make light at a time like this? Only to lighten my sorrow at leaving. You will return to your brotherhood of assassins and whatever duty they assign you. I will return, yes. But I feel a tide changing within me. I'm no longer young. I must devote my energy to those who struggle for freedom. I will use my conviction and my creed to defend them alongside anyone who will help me. I have no one left to serve this to. I will keep it for memory.
Holy hell, that was brutal. To be absolutely fair on this, D. Fiat had that coming for a long time, even if Ottawale has only been on Port-au-Prince for three days and seen the worst that slavery has to offer. After saving black people from public auctions, public jails, being beaten, chased, tortured, punished, and led in embarrassing conga lines around town, Port-au-Prince has been the complete worst in all cases. You can't expect much out of someone who is doing the classic racist thing of comparing the capabilities of black people to literal monkeys, cows, and just any animal he can think of. And to top off the list of bastardry that this guy has been writing down just before this assassination occurred, Adewale had to watch an entire slave ship go down with him, being the only survivor after Deep Fayette's escorts decide to blow it up for suspiciously little reason and common sense. And after hearing all that, I'm sure that even you agree, viewer, that D. Fiat deserved to die by machete to the stomach, the most brutal assassination that I've seen in this franchise, which just goes to prove how much DLC can outdo the main game apples to apples. If you want to know what the plot of the DLC actually was, the governor of Fayette was trying to fund a scientific expedition to map out the world's oceans, giving immense powers to the Templar cause. That didn't go so well now that all the authority on the island has been cut right off. 